to its knees. Welcome ladies and gentlemen, today we are going to check out Miri Elendis as a Magicka damage dealer, how she will perform, what she can do and so on. You can already find a full build guide on AukusHQ.com in the companion section. There's a basics guide and a Miri companion build guide. Magicka damage dealer, stamina, healer and tank. It's all here. I'll put the link in the description with all the skills and so on. And on Ezo Hub, there is a full companion section which showcases all the skill categories, more guides, and also like what kind of skills you actually can use. There is a lot of really cool skills. So, looking at Miri, let's first take a look at the gear. I do have five light and two medium pieces, all aggressive trait to increase our overall damage, same with jewelry and the weapon. The gear doesn't really work the same as on players because we can see here Magicka or let's say light armor increases your healing down and it decreases cooldown, uh, cooldown to break free. Medium armor increases your damage and decreases the cooldown of roll dodge. Heavy armor Increases healing received and increases the amount of damage you can block. So technically you could wear 7 medium pieces on your Magicka damage dealer setup on the Miri Companion. Just to get the 7% extra damage. But the reason why I went 5 light is to get the haste skill. Which is really cool because it can reset all your abilities instantly. And this is not final, we are on the public test server, so this still might change. Because I feel it is a little bit confusing when the player's gear doesn't work the same as the companion's gear. It will confuse the hell out of people. But anyway, what kind of skills do we run on this setup with Miri? Elemental Barricade, Ranged Ability, basically the Blockade from the players. Then we have Life Absorption. Another range skill also heals an ally and herself starfall kind of like a meteor another ranged ability deals a lot of nice damage parallel gives us faster ultimate regen and haste which uh, like it resets all the cooldowns you can see this here has an 8 second cooldown 12 seconds 8 seconds, 16 seconds, and then 36. But we can reduce the cooldowns a lot because of this skill. There's also the ultimate impeccable shot. This one is nice. First off, while she's channeling this one, you will actually deal 20% more damage on the enemy. And the bolt at the end of the attack also deals a buttload of damage. It's physical, but it doesn't really matter will deal a lot of damage nonetheless and parallel is nice because we can use this ultimate more one more thing to consider there is obviously more traits that you could use let me quickly check so at the moment increases companions damage output is aggressive for damage dealers really good you could add a few quickened traits to reduce the ability cooldown which would be okay just as a reminder the gear in general drops from world bosses bosses in general but the drop rate seems to be fairly low please keep that in mind so anyway let's run through this dungeon or like public dungeon or whatever you want to call it so oblivion portal the new world event in blackwood and see how Miri performs. The meteors that are coming down is like the ability me, uh, Miri can use. Which made me a little bit jealous. Because she can pretty much spam meteor. <laughs> Uh, 
As you see, they can also dodge roll. And we gotta be a little bit careful because Miri on the Magicka Damage Dealer, she's playing a ranged damage dealer, so she doesn't stand in all the enemy AoEs, which is really nice. So she doesn't die as often. I should probably activate my buff food. But she doesn't have a heal with this setup. I could obviously add a heal. Well, she does have funnel, but other than that, she doesn't have any heal. But it shouldn't be that big of an issue because most monsters will focus me. Okay, what in hell? Oh, ah, uh, that's a hopper. I gotta change my skill setup a little bit and pressing the wrong buttons. You can see she's spamming abilities quite often because we have this... The trash fights don't last that long. So she can use the cooldown ability. Oh, what is she doing? She's probably memeing, huh? Interesting. That's why, like, you can use haste. Pretty much every trash pool, which is nice. Or oh, she's stuck in the ultimate animation. But she still works. Boom! I love meteors. And by the way, if you want the build that I'm running here, it's a Magic and Nightblade build. Pretty much a solo setup, like very similar. I will also put the link in the description. And I will, of course, showcase the outfit at the end. So far, Miri hasn't died yet. That's why range builds will be prefer because they don't take that much damage otherwise because the companions can die fairly fast she's using her ulti what are they doing lol it looks weird The Oblivion portals are kind of like a public dungeon, so not very difficult, but also not super easy. I'm somewhere in the middle. Because I do get decent damage. Man, Nightblade is just insane. Another boss! Torchbot. Salosum, interesting name. Ooh, is she gonna die? Miri, dead. That wasn't very smart, standing in the AOE. She literally stood in the fire AoE and didn't move out of it. That is uh, not good. Wait, how is the emote? Cry? Miri, didn't I teach you? <laughs> there is obviously still some issues with companions. I do hope they will fix some of the stuff till this goes live because obviously she should, sh she should have moved out of the AoE. Like that's just not acceptable. They need to properly program this. Oh, 
Are these guys alive? Oh yeah, yeah. Interesting. Oh wait, I heard there is like a secret room or something. Maybe it's this, huh? Let's check this out. Okay. These guys deal decent damage. The nice thing about the magic and I played is always that you have so much healing attached to yourself. Did he just enrage? It sounds like he's missing most of his shots. Holy cow, he got deleted, wow. Miri used her ultimate straight when execute happened, so that was a 20% damage boost on top of the Soul Harvest in cap. I wonder if there's more to it. Apart from the chest. This is interesting anyway, we can... Oh, she didn't like that, I guess. Let's move on. We can figure out all the ins and outs later. The companions do like and dislike certain things that you do. And if she really dislikes you, that's the rapport system. I can show you that real quick. Problem, Sarah. This one here. Then she might actually randomly despawn. Because she pretty much hates you. Not pretty much, she does hate you when that happens. But it will take a long time to get there. So far, lol did he die from my ulti, that's funny, so far out of the two companions I do prefer Miri, simply because she just has the better ranged abilities. The companions die too fast in Miri range. I will obviously also do builds for like two-hander, dual wield and so on, but like even on stamina bow build is the better option. This here is the end boss. As long as you have decent movement enough. Oh my god, he got deleted. Wow. Keep your shield up. And you will be fine. Yeah, she's dying again. Okay, now she does show out of the AoE. Oh my god, Miri. I use Zappa Sense there, so she got healed. Okay, she's using her ability and he's flying, of course.
Oh yeah, we gotta kill these guys. I've only been in here once during the previous server. Uh, Okay, they're bombing, sure. Good job, Alcas. Great ultimate timing. And that boss is more underground than anywhere else, huh? So it looks like once they get to the middle, they're enraged. These dudes explode, huh? They don't really deal a lot of damage though. Dodge roll. So for example, I wish Miri would move a little bit more around. Because now she's just standing there, right? She doesn't die, she hasn't died so far, but like movement is important. Just moving a little bit from time to time, maybe when her skills are on cooldown, would be nice. Execute the range. Ooh, that actually hurt, huh? Boom, dead. I had to actually dodge over there, the enrage did hurt. Push the button! Defender of the plane. What loot do we get? Let's check out. Let's check this out. Plane castle. Wait, is this a new portal already? Lol. Uh, I think it's a new one. Let's see. Well, we have been in. It's fine. Miri, come here. We don't want to annoy these. So in here she died once. Mostly because of the f she just stood in the fire AOE. I do hope they will fix that. Because she should move a little bit around and especially should she move out of enemy AoEs. But again, that's not really big of a problem. I do like the build here though. The blockade or the barricade is nice, the shock barricade. Then the single target skill, it also heals. Meteor, it just looks sick, it sounds sick, it's a great ability. And then the extra ulti chain, so she can actually support us with extra damage done. And haste, which just uh, re like resets all the cooldowns, so she can spam abilities. Nice, nice, nice. By the way, you can uh, like uh, give her costumes and so on. So this one is the Money Marco. We can actually go check out our costumes as well, so you can see what kind of outfit I have. Uh, like mentioned before, all the builds can be found on this website for Miri. Bastian builds are also here, obviously, and so on. I'll put the links in the description. Let's actually see. I'm not sure. Uh, Miri had Blood Gold and Void Pitch with the Money Marco costume and my character Trefe Debutante Gold is like a new uh, new costume created by combining 50 scaly clove scraps from the silent halls in Blackwood we're also working on a list for that because these are like spread over all of Blackwood and Obviously, you will also find this on Ezohub. 
And when you go up here, Blackwood, there's the zone with all the sets, the crafting locations, and all the leads, and so on. Colors. Scarlet. I don't know how you pronounce the first part. And Blood Gold. And the weapon I'm using. Oh my god. Silver Dawn stuff. And back bar is just normal Maelstrom stuff. With the Silver Server skin. Which is called... I can't even... Ah, oh yeah. Sanctified Silver. Oh. Okay, there we go. So I hope this was insightful. Now, in general, the companions are good for like overland content, normal content. They can't really hold their own in veteran content. They die too fast, sadly. But I don't think they're meant for that, really. So... They just need a few more improvements and we're good to go here. That's more or less it. Let me know in the comment section below what you think about like the companions or if you already had some experience on the PTS with the companions. Let me know in the comment section below. Please don't forget to subscribe and check out all the stuff on the websites and so on. Like always, Ezohab, Alcus HQ. You do have the Dwemer Automaton, Twitter, Facebook. It's all in the description. Anyway, cheers.